beautiful city on earth. I love coming over here to detect. Hello again. Uh, we had a little rain shower go through. I found four or five different memorial pennies in one dime so far. But just now I uncovered something. Um, wasn't a super high signal, like about an 1819 on my Equinox 800. And I don't know what it is exactly, but it kind of looks like a button or something with an E in the middle. What would that possibly be? Do you see that? An E. What in the world? Let's look on the back side here. Well, maybe it's not even a button. And this is, it's actually just a shell of something. What in the world? Yeah, so unless it's just a, a button that's came loose, but it probably not. I mean, you know, like a two piece button. What is that? I have no idea. Oh, well, we'll have to post that on uh, Facebook later on and see if anybody can help me decipher what in the world that thing is. All right, talked in a little bit. Hello again. Well, we switched houses because the house that I was at, I knew that it had been hit uh, 15 years ago. It was like memorial heaven. It was just filled with memorial pennies. So we're over here now, and this used to be an oval racetrack a long time ago. And across the street, I found five silver dimes uh, when I hunted uh, maybe half a year ago or so. These folks here let me hunt their land, and we just got ourselves some silver, as in a silver quarter. 1937, oh baby. That could be about the oldest of the silver quarters that I've ever found. Um, gosh, I just want to get a standing liberty someday. But I will take that all day long. Makes me very, very happy. Well, here we are in yard number three. Um, I'll be going back to yard number two because I found that quarter and there was quite a few different targets. But I knew I had the opportunity to come over here. And, uh, you know, it's a really large yard. It's got a big pool. In this back corner was another old house that uh, was owned by an African-American family years and years ago, I guess, when uh, the gentleman that lives here was just a kid. Um, and then I just pulled up this old car. It's too bad it's in such bad shape because that would really have been kind of neat. Uh, I've never found one that had that kind of looks to it, but yeah, she's pretty broken up. So would have been really cool, but that's the kind of thing you just never know. And once in a while they come out in good shape. Talk to All you right, well, I've dug right over there the toy. I might have found something really cool. I'm not sure yet. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Um, and so I dug the toy there and now I've got something that's round and interesting looking. You see that? What in the world is that? I mean, it looks like it, it's heavy. I don't think it's going to be a large scent. Uh, what in the world is that though? But here comes the owner and we're going to reveal this. I don't know what this is though. I mean, it looks like the sarge, size of a large scent, but I think it's gonna be like a medallion or something. I'm gonna clean it up for here. You can brush it off with that. See what you come up with. I <laughs> I love when something like that comes out of the ground. <laughs> that, so, that's bigger than a half a dollar. I don't know. I don't yeah, but, the, but it's not a large scent. You can tell it's gonna be some sort of a token or something, I think. Let's go up there and take a look at what we got coming out. What is that? 85 something park Dory Park. Oh, so it is like a token or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh darn. I was hoping older or older, but that's all right 85th. I mean, it's anniversary 85th. Does it tell us a date? And let's see what's on the back side because it probably has stuff there, too. Looks like it doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Yep. What is Dory Park anyway? That, what did they call this? This park had a name too. And oh, over that, here that, in front. That Dory is, is uh, Dorney, Dorney, uh -huh. Dorney. Dorney. I'm not. It. That's pretty. Uh, huh. Close to. Uh, we got any kind of date. Oh, that? 18. What does that say in there? 18. I can't. Who is? 1884 to. Oh, so 1969. So it has to be. A, at least 1969. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's really cool, though. I think I, I love things like this. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to have to try to find out what that. Yeah. Yes. That that wasn't. I, 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 I just cannot remember the name of that. Yeah. 
Well, I gotta show you the other thing I found here a minute ago. It's too bad she's broken up because that would have been a really classic old car, you wow. know? But she was all busted and I must have hit the back actually and broke that off. Anyway, it's pretty bad shape. But I, when you find a really, you know, a really perfect one, they're pretty neat to have actually for whatever. But so far, just two little holes. A little closer here. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's really cool looking, whatever it is. Yes. That so fits. from back in the 60s or 70s or something is all, but still very neat. Yeah. Well, we're back and we've had all kinds of, uh, you know, lots and lots of signals, a lot of stuff that's turning out to be like tinfoil or other things. Um, but right in this hole, we just found this beauty. That's a really pretty lock, isn't it? There's your where your key went through. Uh, I don't know what kind of age we're talking, but that'll be interesting to look up. I hope there's something on it. Oh, I wonder if it's split a little bit. You think it's like split in the bottom where she got wider? You know how it seems like it got wider? It's probably filled with dirt, right? It's got dirt in it, but that's... Yeah, I'll clean that right out at home, you know, just give with a toothpick or something. <clears throat> But that, I've not seen any of that look just like that. That's gotta be, wow. I don't know, that's really cool. I love stuff like this. This is real history. And it may have a, some sort of maker's mark on it somewhere. I'm not it's seeing anything. All the way there, right? Yeah, copper or brass, I'm not yeah. positive. I know a lot of the old locks were brass because uh, they really held up, you know, the those type like old railroad locks or something. That's interesting, anyway. Well, that is interesting. <laughs> it is. I'm, I'm excited. excited about what in the world is that? All right, we're looking down here at something we just pulled out of the ground. What and is? it's like a large what? heart. And yeah. it's made out of probably copper. I'm guessing sort of a compact that had something in it maybe, like uh, for women. It could still have something in it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that different? Gosh, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too interesting I yeah yeah you just never ever know so there's what we're looking at and my goodness okay well you know what I'm gonna call it a day and go hang out with my wife um, but this was the Southern Yanks and thank you so much for a wonderful day I will be back if that's okay because obviously there's still so much down here <laughs> you see what my favorite show is what's that now oh the curse of Oak Island I love it and I still haven't watched it. Yeah. My wife, every time I start it, she's, I think she's kind of tired of me finding and doing this so much. She's, she just never wants to watch yeah. that. And I, yeah. yeah my, <laughs> my, my friend went to huh? Oak Island and visited, you know. Oh, and, really? And met all the characters, you know, the people involved yeah, with yeah, the yeah. treasure hunt. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, she knows I watch it all the time, so she sent me this hat back. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Isn't that nice? I wish yeah. I could get you something like that. Well, anyway, uh, this is, uh, it's been a wonderful day, beautiful day, and signing off from the Southern Yanks. Thank you again very much. <laughs> hey, well, you found a few things. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah.